Hey guys, <clears throat> what's going on? Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel. And this is about ND filters and the testing that I have been doing on them the past couple weeks. It's hard to test ND filters this time of year, but they do make a great difference to no matter what kind of shot that you're trying to do. Problem is, if you look at this footage, from the other night when I shot it just looks horrible it's really it's got the cinematic look to it but it's totally out of focus the tones really bad I was kind of noticing that I wasn't hearing the clicking of the DJI go app and the Mavic focusing itself I've shot with ND filters in the past, but the Phantom 3 Pro, Phantom 4, never had any issues. Throw those things on, play by the rules at two times the shutter rate, two times the frame rate. So here we're shooting at 30 frames a second, around so keeping the shutter uh, speed around 60, no issues. Here is uh, the other morning. Same thing, 2.7K, Cinelike, no style, white balance is configured for conditions on all of these clips. So this had an ND32, which definitely was a, a little too aggressive of an ND filter at the, at the time. Even though I was getting exposure values, close to the zero mark which is kind of what you want as well as your two times the shutter speed uh, but again you can see the image is kind of soft until I would raise the shutter speed to a point over the two times factor but then you can see like those trees right there in the middle just how kind of blown out and over sharpened uh, they're getting. So definitely need to drop my sharpness on uh, the Mavic. Zero's uh, not enough. It needs to go down a little bit more. But as far as a cinematic type of a view, when you're flying around with the ND filters, uh, they're definitely doing their job. The video looks so much smoother. You look right there, and everything in this frame is in focus, <clears throat> no matter how dark or how light I actually make it. But then as soon as I get going here, spin around a little bit, you can kind of see that those trees there are well, a little fast, but yeah. They're not bad. You can see a little bit of a vignetting that I got going on too. The only thing I could think of is that the more light that you allow into the Mavic sensor, the better. I just don't think that this is going to be a true commercial cinephotographer's tool and there's all kinds of people talking about how they're going to make millions off of taking pictures of houses with these things and uh, I don't know I don't think that's gonna happen so anyway this is a clip here coming up this is the same morning dropped everything down to an ND16 besides power and the craft on and off um, everything else is set up exactly the same uh, you can see the focus is right on this time and then when I fly up here to the corner of the lake to get a comparable shot. You'll see the Mavic actually autofocus this time just because I, I think that's just how it works. It runs off of how much light's actually coming into the actual sensor. Kind of twirl around here around the lake and I'm just going to go straight ahead and get a decent cinematic shot ND16 on here right now. Everything pretty much, this is probably one of the best 
shots and looks that I've got so far uh, using the ND filters. Which, by the way, they're Taco RC ND filters. I don't think this problem is put the filters. They're great. <clears throat> they're uh, really small. They're, they can leave them on when you calibrate them and everything else. So I definitely uh, recommend them for the price and the quality. They're just as good as anything I've ever seen. But I think what we're seeing here is uh, Mavic issues. And this is just for comparison for people who have never used ND filters because I know there's a lot of new pilots out there that the Mavic is their first vehicle. And basically what I'm trying to do here is compensate with just the shutter speed on the Mavic to create the same type of look, which is pretty much impossible. Um, right there you can see prop shadows, rolling shutter, tons of jello, just everything. It's just really gnarly looking. So you can uh, see that if you're going to be shooting in sun in uh, sunrises and sunsets and stuff like that, that uh, you're going to need to get some kind of a neutral density filter to cut back on that light that's coming in there. Um, especially to hide uh, those uh, prop shot, those prop shadows, because that can ruin a ruin a shot right there real quick. So let's take the next clip here. So I hope you're still sticking with me. Um, this is basically clips that I just shot today. After reading the Taco RC packages. They, in exchange of some emails, they are basically saying that they're shooting for 100 to 150 on your shutter speed, which basically is going to be well above your typical 50 to 60, which is your two times your frame rate of 25 or 30 frames per second. Camera mumbo jumbo. I just do it and it just works at least beforehand before I got hold of this Mavic. Now today with this ND4 total overcast day, fog and everything, uh, exposure value was about a one and I was running anywhere between 60 and 100 on my shutter speed. And I didn't seem to have any focus problems at all. Again, everything is a little sharp and a little saturated. So those do need knocked down a little bit. The ND filter really amplifies that and shows you where your faults in your video are. That's, uh, that's for sure. But, you know, it just creates that beautiful cinematic flow that you want to get and we're pretty much just gonna fly out here to the lake here real quick to get a comparable shot of what we've been doing before so take a look at this and there's one more clip after by the way this clip was shot in 4k at 30 frames a second so check out this clip and then there's one more uh, short clip after this at 2.7k.
All right, guys, here we are at 2.7K, and I hope you're sticking with me here uh, just because I put this out all over the different Facebook groups, forums, um, RC groups, everywhere, not got a single response. So either really nobody gives a shit or nobody's using ND filters on their Mavic because, well, nobody knows how to use them or they just don't care. So... Same thing here, ND4, 2.7K, 30 frames a second. Had to run in between 80 and 120 on the shutter speed. So, I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. But that's pretty much all the testing that I have. Hopefully, some of you guys that have been doing this commercially and creating a lot better stuff than I have uh, can kind of give me some tips or give the community some hints and tips. You guys are really all we have to turn to right now. So give this video a lot of likes and a lot of comments so we can get it up to the top of the board um, and figure out what's going on. Uh, hit the subscribe button too uh, if, you, if you like my content try to get as much to you as I can and hopefully uh, we'll have an answer you know shout out to all my subscribers and everybody that comments and stuff appreciate all of the views and the comments a lot of big comments on that uh, firmware update sounds like about 70 75 percent of you had pretty much the same issues I did maybe a little bit more but it looks like everybody was able to persevere and get through that. So that's good to see. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Hopefully you stuck around with this video and we can help figure this out. So we'll talk to you guys later. Happy New Year.